Hello, Kelsey Taylor here, and welcome to another movie review where, once again, I'm going to be talking about, like, a set of films, like a trilogy. And, um, one of them that everybody should know about by now, it's, it's a well-known Disney classic. It's celebrating its 25th anniversary this year, and this is, like, the film that people say it started the, like, a period of time where um, Disney was having, like, hit films, like, back-to-back, -back, starting with this, then, um, then on to Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, and The Lion King, and then it starts da going down again. And, uh, of course, recently in the past year, since Frozen did so well at the box office and with, with people worldwide, it's like starting it up again. But um, this is like a classic film that um, I've always loved as a kid. You know, I love I like films like this, like Set in the Ocean. And I'm sure you know what I'm talking about by now. And The Little Mermaid. And I'm going to be talking about, like, a little bit more about the sequels. But um, the first one everybody knows about is about um, Ariel, who's a mermaid, and she really wants to become a human, and I, I, it's just, it's just a wonderful film, I love the animation, I love the characters and the songs, it's such, like, if you, if you know somebody who hasn't seen this movie before, show this to them, you know, like, they're, they're really gonna like it, now, the sequels, um, they, it, like, the, like, I have a little minor pet peeve, like, I talked about this in another movie review, um, like, I, like, I, like I said, I don't like how they put, um, part two here, that three, like, this is the prequel, actually, but, um, like, 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 you know, they should, like, put, like, part two and three instead of having it, like, not in order. Even, even the disc did the right thing. Like, here's part two. I don't know if you can see. There's part two and there's part three. Of course, like I said, the prequel, but I just want to say part three. Yeah, I don't, yeah, like, I don't like these, um, great disc covers. Even, even the first movie disc has it as well. But, um, at least they put two here to let you know that this is, this is part two. Because if anybody looks at that not knowing their sequels, they're going to go, there's sequels to The Little Mermaid? Well, which one's part two? But, but at least, they, at least they have the two on it. Like, Little Mermaid 2, like, I had, I had, like, I, I had to watch these films again to do this video, but, like, Little Mermaid 2 Return to the Sea is actually the one I was looking forward to the least. Even when I first saw it as a kid, I never, never really, like, liked it that much. I don't know. It's kind of like the first film, again, where this time Ariel has a daughter and she really wants to go in the ocean. So it's kind of like a reverse, like, Ariel wants to become human and her daughter wants to become a mermaid. But, I, I, I don't know. I mean, even, even watching it again, I think I had that same feeling as I did when I watched it back then. Like, like, the second film is not that good. But, um, the third film is a lot better. better. Ariel's beginning, it's set before the events of the first film where um, Ariel has to get music back to Antarctica because it's been banned. And, uh, like, 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 I like the third film. Like, it's not that great. I mean, this is, this is, this was really during a time where Disney was always doing these, um, direct-to-DVD sequels to their classic Disney films, like, all the time. Like, they, they never stopped doing it. But nowadays, they're just now making Tinkerbell movies and no more of this, which, I, which I'm glad, you know, just, like, I guess people had enough of them. But, um... Yeah, like, but Ariel's beginning has, is without, is, um, it's not a film without its flaws. Like, this film has, like, some flaws. Like, um, like, I thought the films weren't that interesting, especially the side villain. I don't know, it's kind of dull, but, um, and I thought the animation was good. It's just, I don't know, but, um, like, I, w I would not recommend the sequels if you really love the first one. Like I said, the first one is an all-time classic, and, um, so yeah, check out the sequels if you want to, if you're curious enough, but other than that, just stay away from them, but um, yeah, that's my review of the Little Mermaid trilogy, and um, stay tuned, pretty soon, I'm going to be doing a video on my favorite Disney films, and um, I have like, a ton of them to show, so I don't know if it's going to be a whole video, or a two-parter, and um, hopefully I won't have the um, issue with changing up the lighting again, Now hopefully the lighting will stay the same, and hopefully I'll be able to shoot here in my room, or instead of my mother's room, because like, my birds got to stay quiet during filming. So, thank you so much for watching, and um, I'll see you guys later. Adios.